Oh. Well, hello and welcome to another episode of How the F*** You Do That. I'm your host, wreck it Ralph. Well, for those of you that saw any of our our video last week, or our short last week of all the snow that we got uh, here in Powell, Tennessee, we got about eight and a half to nine inches of snow, and then half of it melted, and then became five inches of ice. Um, so that was fun. The first round of stuff that came through last Monday uh, dumped all that snow all at once, and then it froze overnight, and the uh, Department of Transportation trucks came out the following day and started doing what they do. There's a couple of plows demonstrating what I said. <laughs> what I said. Shoveling it out of the way and off to the side. The only issue with the off to the side part is that um, when you got to go down a road that they shoveled it off the side to, it creates this giant uh, snowbank, which froze and became a giant ice bank, which leads me to here. I had to go to work the next day and uh, I had a nice large four wheel drive truck, no issue getting out of the neighborhood or getting to work, nothing like that. But pulling into the road that my job is at, it's about a two foot high, maybe bigger, I'm not sure, ice bank. And uh, I uh, drove over it. No issues getting over it, but it was a loud kind of pop or not really a pop, just a thunk. That's a good term, however you spell that, thunk. And uh, and then my window went down. Not the glass, just the actuator arm inside the door. So now I get to take apart my door and uh, see if I can get it clipped back in. Because right now the actuator is up and it's just holding this in, uh, in place, but it's not actually hooked together. So if I rolled the window down right now, the glass would just go da, 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 and fall down. So we're not going to do that uh, right now. So we're going to take apart this door panel and then um, I think I got to take this speaker out too. But yeah, just a little extra something something for you today thought you all might enjoy all right so let's get our driver here I do have a driver set I've got two T20s in me there I don't particularly care for this set kind of sucks but I think it's the only T20 I got so Now, I really don't want to pick you up every time I need to do something, but right back here, there's a little secret flap. You gotta flap that down, and there's a screw back there. Because see, now that I've done that, I gotta figure out where you guys go and put you back where you belong. There, there. Okay. So, and that's even thinner. So I'm actually just going to use the straight blade here and get in there. There we go. And you got to pry it down the way these things work. There's a down, there's an over, but you got to go down with it. Oh, before we take that out, one more thing here. We have to remove switches. Okay. Now there's a little clip on here that you just got to push in. It's on this side. And it should pop right out, just like that. Now we'll remove that screw. And then I think that's it. The only thing holding this on is the lip of the window and the uh, lock there. So I should pretty sure. There we go. Okay. So 
There's our door panel off. Set that right here in the one dry piece of ground that we have. All right, so to get to the actuator, there's this little seal here we gotta take off. Okay. And then to get to the bottom one, or to the other side, we gotta take this speaker off. But like for real, where is that ratchet? Found this little five millimeter bit. And it will fit into my bigger ratchet. So, <laughs> ratchet. Alrighty. Okay, we are back in business, folks. Y'all having fun staring at the back of my head? I thought so. I just wanted to bring y'all along to show you a day in the life. Of, yep, we make YouTube videos, but we still have other things going on on the daily. All right, let's pull that out. <clears throat> Disconnect that speaker. Man, I remember all the rage back in the 90s. Changing out your speakers, getting new speakers, better speakers, getting the subwoofer, all that fun stuff. Okay, well now let's do the not fun part. Let's turn the truck on, and uh, or just the key on. And we will rehook the window. Did you see it? Wasn't that fun. Okay. Yeah. It just came unclamped, so, you know, I'm guessing just whenever I went over that mountain of ice, it was enough to just jar the entire, I mean, because when I did, what, you know, the, blah, 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 over the ice, it was enough just to un, undo the teeth. It's close, but it's not in there. There's a high possibility that you haven't heard anything I've said. Because at some point, my microphone turned off. We're at 17 minutes of filming, and I just realized my microphone has been off this entire time. So, anyway, you've been getting a fast forward version, I guess, since I haven't said anything in a while. <laughs> so I'm gonna recap real quick. I had a, I'm sorry, 1980. Pontiac Phoenix. It was what predated the Sunbird, Sunfire, whatever it was. Two door square body. All the speakers were blown. I bought the car for $600. I put $300 worth of work into it to get it to run. And then, um, and then I started doing the sound system because in the 90s that was all you did was you put a new CD player, you put a new subwoofer and all that stuff in in your car. So I had this 1980 car and I ended up putting a uh, Sony Explode sub in it. Got an amp for it, of course, after going through a battery. <laughs> Live and learn, right? Uh, that driver go? No, there's. And, uh, had some uh, beat lights in it so as you went down the street and it was thumping you know, all the lights would thump with it and uh, I had red lights and uh, just a really nice system set up overall and after I got it all put together and plugged in and was showing it off and was so proud of all my hard-earned money that I'd spent it got stolen someone broke into my car one night and stole all of it 
So fast forward to the second car, which was a 1998 Kia Sophia. Yeah, don't judge me. We can afford what we can afford. I think that car was $3,500. And then I put about $2,000 worth of electronics in it, new amp and a new sub. And this time I got a Sirwin Vega. And that Vega was the bomb. Man, it sounded so good. So much better. And I, and I had a better box. And I didn't tell anybody about it because I learned my lesson. And um, had it for a long time. Had it for a couple years. Maybe two years, I guess. Until someone broke in again and stole all of that. So, good, good times. Anyway, got it all back together. Got all the screws back in, plate back in, got the buttons back in. And uh, just for one more good measure. And then I gotta clean all the fingerprints off of it from where I was holding it up, but. Cool. Makes me think that it's happened before though because of all the scratches right here. The more I had to take that off, so. But I've had this truck for two years and uh, that's the first time that's ever happened, so. Cool beans. Anyway, so Leatherman Wave Plus, one thing that we use today, this little uh, hyper tough Walmart. It's actually a really junky set, but it's the only T20 I had. And then uh, Phillips screwdriver, Stanley. And then uh, this Frankenstein set up here medium socket set i don't know what size this was a one fourth and then a five millimeter insert into that to be able to take that those speakers out or that speaker out so well hope you enjoyed this little uh, tutorial of uh how to take a door panel off and reset a power window to a 2018 ram 1500 4x4 <sighs> as always i'm wolfman walsh and uh We'll catch you next time. Peace.